Some of you may have heard or may have not heard of the story that I'm about to bring to you right now. But also shout out to Darian McNeil for actually sending this story to me. Now, we have heard so many stories over the last couple of weeks where you've had PC women or off brand PC women accuse black men of doing things that they did not do or attacking them or whatever. Well, now you have the same situation again, but this time it's, of course, the PC woman and a black woman. And you see the two of them right here. And this story right here also happened in New York, much like with the Amy Cooper, Christian Cooper situation. Now, on the left is a woman by the name of Sivitlana Flom. That name sounds like it's Russian or something like that or Czechoslovakian. I'm not sure. And on the right, they don't have the woman's name down. They didn't. She didn't give her actual government name, but she used her username. And I'm guessing maybe it's an Instagram name and it's underscore brown sugar baby. That's all they have down for this woman's name. Now, this PC woman right here, this frumpy looking chick claims that the woman on the right was attacking her. Now, mind you, the PC woman is pregnant. You can kind of see her bump right there in the picture. But she claims that she was that she was attacking her. But the the woman on the right, she recorded the entire thing, which is like four minutes, almost four minutes long. And there's no sign that this woman is attacking her. Now, the thing about this also is, is that this savant Lana woman is a socialite. She basically is someone who married into wealth. She married. Uh, well, I'll read it in the article. She basically married into wealth. It says, this is the shocking moment a pregnant Upper West Side sh socialite caused the NYPD falsely claiming a black woman in her neighborhood was attacking her. The white woman who identifies herself as Savalana Flom, age 34, and that's a, whew, that's a frumpy looking 34, can be heard telling officers she was being threatened while footage does not support this claim. Flom, who was married to millionaire car salesman Gary Flom, also goes to on to accuse the woman of harassing her and threatening her children the clip excuse me the clip posted online does not show any of that sharing the footage online at underscore brown sugar baby who is this woman right on the right said from 6 15 p.m to 7 31 p.m this woman savat lana flan felt the need to not only approach me but call the cops multiple times on me she was too alarmed that i was sitting comfortably in her quote-unquote neighborhood in a statement, police told DailyMail.com on Friday, May 29, 2020, at 18.52 hours, police officers responded to a 911 call of harassment within the confines of the 20th precinct. Upon arrival, officers spoke to both individuals who had a verbal dispute. There were no summonses or arrests. That shit should definitely have been dealt with. Accordingly. Like, like I said, this shit get, is, it gets out of hand, but let me show you right now. It shows now that it doesn't discriminate because it's rare that you find that they pull this stuff with black women because commonly it's known to be done to black men almost all the time. But now you're seeing that it doesn't discriminate so much for that intersectionality. It says Flom can be heard telling the police that the woman is playing the black card during the hour long confrontation hour long. There's no way I would have been having a confrontation with this woman for no damn hour. Uh, it says she also asked her to walk on the walk to the police station together. In the video, Flom describes the woman as an African American and can be heard saying, "I'm shaking. I'm pregnant. This is unacceptable. I want this video to be gone." So basically, she claims she's harassing her because now this woman is filming her acting an ass right there in the middle of the street or on the sidewalk or wherever it is that they are at. Flom co-owns French restaurant Maison Vivienne which boasts locations in Southampton in the Upper East Side. She's a regular on the New York City socialite scene, pictured at a number of high-end parties. Her husband, former president and CEO of Jaguar Land Rover Manhattan, appears to walk away from the incident, which is said to have taken place on Friday evening. Damn, even her own husband don't want to be near her. <laughs> the woman who shared the footage has not been identified. She added the first call was because she thought I was smoking in public, but by the third call was because I was quote-unquote threatening her and her children. While giving my description, her exaggerated she she exaggerated her story and made it seem like I was the aggressor. This African American woman is attacking me and my children. She had tears that were off and on, and she stated things like she's pulling the black card. And trust me when I tell you, this woman is frumpy looking, even with makeup on. 
At Brown Sugar Baby added, I probably could have just walked away. I probably should have kept my mouth shut, right? Nah, I couldn't understand why she was so mad. How you come over here just feeling so privileged and so comfortable enough to tell me I should leave? She wanted to be a victim so bad, not one person came to her aid. Multiple people witnessed the ordeal and just wanted to make sure I was okay. I bet she was very upset about that. Imagine you causing your own scene just to get the police called on somebody else to come and hem them up. But they ask you, the black person, are you okay? But not the one who's causing the scene. Um, it says the footage bears a striking resemblance to the one in feet. Okay, with Amy Cooper and Christian Cooper. We know about that one. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, they they try that junk with everybody. Like I tell you, the PC woman tears, quote unquote, and her victimhood is like bar none. That shit is like kryptonite for some people, not everybody. But like I said, the joke was on her when people were more worried about the well-being of the black woman and not Karen.